Hello everyone, I'm Trevor Force, and today I am going to talk about what I believe in. So everyone has something they believe in, right? They're really passionate about it. They really believe in it. They're willing to do crazy things for it, to make sure that other people know about it. Things like getting up on a Saturday before they would get up on a school day and going to school to talk about what they believe in. Just an example. They would do things like that. So, what do I believe in? I believe in the power of the high five. It's a revolutionary thing that spreads joy and happiness all over America. When one person high fives another person, the first person's joy and happiness immediately spreads to the second. That positive energy is immediately transferred. Those two people high-fiving, they're sharing something that they never knew they were sharing. They're just sharing happiness. When one person high-fives another, their happiness is spread like a contagious disease. Happiness is as contagious as a cold or an idea. It spreads through an area like wildfire. It only takes one person, one person who really believes in what they believe. They have that idea. They have the happiness. It only takes one person to start that happy pandemic when they high five one person. And from there, it can spread forever. As long as the people believe, the people who are high fiving everywhere, the high fivers, as long as they believe in the power of the high five. So, where do we see this power? Well, it's in every day of our lives. It may not be our life. At the moment, it may be our friends' lives telling us about it. it Maybe on the news, maybe on TV, we might see it in the newspaper. This example, this power lives in celebrities everywhere, famous people, actors, actresses, famous singers, anyone famous, sports superstars, people like that. It lives in them. So. What does someone do when they see their idol, their hero, that person, their favorite singer jumping around on stage, their favorite player running on the field? What do they do when they see them? Let's say it was you. You say you see your fa favorite person ever, someone who you love, you can do without. You may not know them personally, but you know them well enough. You have posters of them. Pinned up all over your room, we all have that person. So what do you do when you see them? You get to meet them. You get to meet that singer backstage. You get to see that player in the locker room. What do you do? You get those butterflies in your stomach. You're really nervous. You have a really goofy smile on. You try to talk to them, maybe. You get an autograph. They talk to you. They smile at you. A practice smile that millions of other people have gotten. But how can you really interact with that person? The simplest, one of the most exhilarating ways of communication. A way to really connect with that person. A high five. As your favorite player is running into the tunnel after a game-winning catch, the player who just made the game-winning shot to win the championship, your favorite singer is strutting around on stage. You get to high-five them. How cool would that be? How would that feel? Imagine how you would feel. Think of that person. Think of the situation. Think of high-fiving them. Imagine yourself right now high-fiving that person. How would that feel? It'd feel like a mixture of pure joy, happiness, and a weird feeling of I'm never going to wash this hand again. And where did that wonderful, fabulous, fantastic feeling come from? Where did that come from? That came from your idol, that hero, your favorite person. If they died, you would be as sad as if your whole family died right then. 
That's how much you love them. You love that person. That, that's where that feeling came from. It came from that person. But more specifically, it came from their high five that they gave to you. They high fived you, and their happiness immediately spread to you. Immediately. They're happy, they just won a game. And you want to see them, you see them, they high five you. And what do you do? You get home and you scream because you're so happy. You feel like you're going to explode with happiness. That's your idol. They just high fived you. And it came from their high five. That's where that happiness came from. That great feeling. So when you see someone, students walking down the halls during passing time, if you see your friend, if you're in class, and you're just feeling happy, you're in a great mood. Or if you see someone who's in a bad mood, they're just having one of those days, they spilled coffee on their pants, it's probably raining outside. If you see someone who's having a bad day, why not high five them? It takes a couple seconds. All you have to do is raise your hand and they'll get the idea. <laughs> it's that easy. So high five everyone. When you get out of here, high five people as you pass them. High five your family. High five your friends. High five, you can high five random people if you're comfortable with that. <laughs> Some people aren't. So, just high five people. So I hope that all of you can now see the power of the high five and how powerful it can be, how it, it really motivates people. And it, it spreads so easily. It's such an easy act, and it can spread happiness forever, forever and everywhere. I hope you all see that power now. That's what I believe in. I believe that happiness is contagious, and that the high five is the best way, the easiest way, the simplest way, the most exhilarating way to spread that happiness among people. Thank you.